Already a day after the historic flooding that hit North Texas, families are working to put their lives back together. Some of them will be able to begin again, but for others, life will never be the same. Fox 4 Sean Rabb live in Southeast Dallas County tonight. Sean, you're in one of the hardest hit areas. Yeah, Clarice, we are. We are in Balt Springs right now in the 2500 block of Laura Lane. Every resident in this block affected, either their homes or their vehicles, affected adversely by the flood. We spoke to two families today, neighbors here behind us. Both have been down this wet road before, but both say they've never seen it like this. Physically, I'm okay. Emotionally, I'm a mess. Vanessa Villas and her husband were awakened by loud claps of thunder announcing the arrival of an unwelcomed visitor. I went to get off the bed and my feet were in water. It was ankle deep already by the time we, we woke up. She started taking pictures and video as she and her husband moved through the house. Uh, my husband and me went to go get our kids from our rooms and the water was chasing behind us. Um, we got to the rooms and the water was actually already in there. They got the kids up and her husband's grandmother and made it out, wading through the murky, moving water. The road here on our street was already gone. We couldn't see it no more, so it was just guiding off of mailboxes, and that's all we could do. Just three miles east of here in Mesquite, wife, mother, grandmother, Jolene Gerald lost her life when her vehicle was swept off the service road along 635 between Military and Syene. Her husband, Keith, tells me she took a friend to work in Terrell and was almost home when the waters pushed her off the road and under the overpass. It was her husband who'd come to the QT looking for his wife after she called him for help, sadly finding her in her vehicle. This, um, like, too much stress because you have to remove everything. And... I don't know, this a lot. Maria Corona and Vanessa Villas are neighbors, neither home spared. Corona's chain link fence, now a clothesline to dry out what she can. We met her Monday as the floodwaters had their way. You have to redo everything, the floors, the walls, every, everything. You have to redo everything and I have to do again. For Vanessa Villas and her family, their house too a total loss. They have no insurance, but considering what matters most. And my kids are okay, my husband, my husband's grandma's okay, so what else can we ask for, right? We made it out alive. Made it out alive and starting over again, already pulling out the walls and the floors and replacing that and trying to get started rebuilding again, and at the same time working on their vehicles, trying to take care of their kids, all of their items for school, all of their school materials and clothes, of course, were lost. Sean Rabb reporting live. Thank you.